Hey, good morning guys. So just heading down to the, I was gonna say the ice rink then, just heading to the skate park to record some new videos. Hi, and welcome to lesson two of learning to skate with me, Adam Jukes. And today is going to be all about spins. So let's get straight into it. The first spin we're going to learn to do is a two foot spin. Now, if you're spinning the regular way, that'll be spinning on your left foot. And you're gonna think about being on an inside edge, doing kind of small loops, almost like this. And if you spin the other way, then you want to be thinking about doing right inside loops. And that will be kind of this way. It feels a little bit weird for me to spin that way. Because what will happen once we get onto a one foot spin, you, initially you're thinking about doing small, tiny inside loops, which really, really helps because on the ice, you may feel like you do something a little bit different. So once you start spinning on inlines, that is the best tip I can give you until you feel more comfortable, okay? So what we want to do, we're gonna be basically spinning on the stopper and the first wheel, okay? And oh, it's just in this position, so what I want to do is just go around and use that right heel. You can just push around like this and just get used to that position, how that feels, okay? Because this foot is going to be in the same position when you go onto one foot. So you go around and you just spin until you're comfortable. Just do a couple like this, okay? So that would be the two foot spin. And if you have any questions, then just leave them in the comments below and then I can help you out. Okay, and if you want to send me any videos and I can do some video analysis, then that is also an option too. Just find me on The Skating Duo on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. It's the same thing everywhere, okay? So, next would be a, would be a, a one foot spin, okay? And now there's many ways to go into this. I would suggest the first way is to do it from a pivot, okay? So this is the same, same position. We're just slightly on the inside edge and you're just gonna arms out nice and strong. You're gonna push around maybe a couple of times and then just try to draw the foot up. And initially we're just trying to get the foot off the ground just to here. Obviously we want to get to here and then we're gonna cross over and go into the more advanced versions, but one step at a time, okay? So arms out, push around and then just draw the foot in and then back to here. And you can keep doing this Unless you get super dizzy, then stop, take a second, maybe do one turn the other way, which always seems to work for some reason. It's like you're getting undizzy, <laughs> I don't know. So, we're just pushing around, and then into this. And a good exercise is just to keep going like this, whilst you feel comfortable, and then once you're dizzy, then you can stop, okay? The next progression from that would be to do kind of a little hockey around. So you can push it around like this, and then draw the foot up and spin just like that. One more time. So just have a little small push around and then draw the foot up, bring the arms in, and then you can even do a land position if you want. The next progression would be, so there's lots of people like to do backwards crossovers into spins and I've found it's a little bit hard on inline skates. It's very hard to get purchase, to get power into the push because you'll do, you'll do your cross here and when you go to push you kind of feel like you don't really go anywhere. It is possible to do but it's, it's not comfortable. And then there's the inside three turn which is a little bit uncomfortable because inside three turns can be a bit tricky on inline skates because you kind of got to go up and over and then you kind of don't feel like you're settled on that right back outside edge. You feel like you're a little bit uncomfortable. I mean it is possible obviously. So you, you can do the, the spin there, and it is possible to do a good spin like this, but I found a better way. It's a mohawk. So what you do though, it's a little bit different. So think about, do your mohawk, but as you step here, almost keep the left arm back, so that now as you push forward, that's gonna give you some power into the spin. And that would look like this. So you kind of do your mohawk, and then you can go into your spin and you can get lots and lots of power you can do a cross foot if you wanted okay i'm going to show you what that looks like from behind so you do your mohawk and then you keep this arm back and then you can push into the spin very very easily okay and this is really really valuable once you come to doing sit spins and camel spins because the biggest the biggest trick of a sit spin and a camel spin is how much speed you start with. 
if you don't start with much speed then as soon as you start spinning the, the speed just drops dramatically so you need to start with a high amount of speed which takes a lot of confidence as well right okay so let's just do that one more time so arms out so do your mohawk because what will happen if you do your mohawk and you're here then you've got no power because the power is going to come from keeping this left arm back yeah so if you're here you keep the left arm back and now as you push onto that left outside edge the arm is here and this is going to come around which is going to create power and then the right arm and the right leg are going to come around at the same time and create more power so you're getting double the amount of power as opposed to if you just did a mohawk here and then you can still do it but i don't feel like i get as much power maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right it's all for discussion isn't it okay so that would be the one foot spin Next, let's go on to the, the back spin. Okay, so we'll do uprights and upright. Okay, I would start exactly the same. Back, back pivot, you're gonna back pivot around. And then once you spin, this is where confidence is key, right? You've gotta be confident to get over that foot. Yeah, so if you look at my foot, you need to get over into the position here onto a back spin. If you stay on the center, you're not going to spin. Okay, so. I would start the same here, just push around and then backspin like that. Okay, one more time. So push around and then backspin and then step out. Nice uh, landing edge, finishing position, whatever you want to call it, guys. There's many names for everything as I've learned <laughs> over the years. Yeah, so the same again. So just push around and I'll show you. This is what this is what will happen if you don't get over and you're not confident. This is what will happen. You'll push around, you go into the centre, and you kind of it doesn't really go. You kind of get over there, get over that right side. So you're going from here, and you're going to get over the right side. Arms coming in, all the, all the way down the right side. So one more time, and then we'll go on to the next progression. So push around, and then into the back spin, and out. Okay, just try to watch that water there. Next thing you would do would be from a, I don't know, let's do a regular backspin entrance. Would be an, in, an inside three turn. Could be wrong, I don't know. The terminology, I'm always forgetting the names of things. So that would be from here. Oh, that wasn't the best one. more time. Let's, let's actually go straight, maybe it's a little bit better. And what I'm trying to think about, I'm basically thinking what I would think on the ice. I'm really trying to open up and stay in this position as long as I can, which is really hard on here, I'll be honest. It's probably much easier if you just go and then go straight into the spin. But then again, maybe not. You know so that is it's kind of there uh, it's the same as on the ice you try to replicate what you do on the ice it just feels different because there's a lot more friction and that's where the problem lies because you're so used to going to it and being slippy and here there's friction and you're like the autumn I don't know what, I don't know what exactly to call it but we're used to feeling a certain way doing something and when it feels different we're a bit lost we're like how so how should it feel because most people don't know. I'm lucky that I've spent a couple of years on these now, so I kind of know how things should feel. Okay, next would be from a, next we have to do the cross foot spin, right? So let's go through a cross foot spin. So a really good exercise for the cross foot spin is just push around and then try to hold this position. And then once you can hold that position, then you can go into a cross foot spin and then finish. Okay, one more time. So push around and you want to be able to hold this position nice and comfortable. And you hold it comfortably and then you can do a cross foot spin and finish. Okay. Next, going on from there would be a, so a cross foot scratch spin. And then we step out and then we push around with the left foot and we bend on the right knee to push around to go into the spin. 
It's just like we're doing from the pivot when we push around, push into the spin. But now we're going to go from left to right. Okay. So let's uh, let's do it from a mohawk. So we go in. We do the spin. We step out. We push around, and we do the spin. Step out. Landing edge. Okay. One more time. And let's do this one. Let's do this from a pivot, just for something different. Okay, so we pivot around, go in, do a swap spin, step around, push, and up, and out. Okay, I'm just watching this water. I do not want to skate through this water. Okay, so that will be the, uh, what you want to be thinking about. So, you're doing your regular scratch spin. You step out, left arm forward. You push around, bend, and then you want to draw up. Yeah, so you're from here, step out, push around, draw up, and then nice landing position on the end. Okay, so what is next? Next would be sit spin. Okay, so let's go through the sit spin. So I would say that one of the tricks with the sit spin is confidence. Like everything in life, confidence is key. If you're not confident, you're not going to be able to put 100% into it. You're not going to be able to do it, okay? So sit spin, what will happen most time, you get to here and you kind of get stuck, okay? So let's see if I can do one. I haven't actually tried one for since I was in Vegas. So here we go. Let's see if we can do it, okay? So you do, you do your mohawk and then you go in, go all the way down. Oh. So that wasn't the best one. But you kind of see what's going on there, okay? So, that right arm back, go into the spin, go down, and then we can just come up like that. Just at the beginning, don't worry about having the most perfect sit spin in the world. Let's just get down into the position, hold it for a couple of rotations, then try to get back up. And if you have to put your foot down like I did, that's okay. We're not perfect guys, we're just trying to be better than we were the day before, the practice before. We're just going to get a little bit better. Okay, so I'll show you everything. I'm not pausing the video, I'm just going through it. I'm showing you how it is, real, real life. Okay, so try again. So from here, push in, down. See, I dropped, I dropped over onto the, onto, I was right, right on the center there. I need to be on the inside to get a good sit spin. And that's what happens. If you, if you stay too center, your weight will go over the left and you have to come back up, okay? So I'm showing you all the ways that it kind of doesn't work as well, which I think we all need to learn. When you know how something doesn't work, then you realize how it works the best way. Like when we're learning tricks, I love it when a trick doesn't work because I'm learning different ways that it doesn't work. So then hopefully by the time when it matters, I know all the ways that it doesn't work, so then I know what to look for, the mistakes to look for that as they're coming up, you can correct it straight away. Okay, so let's try again. Not the best sit spin. Sit spin this morning is feeling super tricky for me, I'll be honest. I'm gonna blame the floor, but it's not the floor. But the main thing you gotta think about with the sit spin is you push in, and you've got to have that confidence to go all the way down. And since I had a knee injury a couple of years ago, confidence on doing sit spin left, it's always a little bit like, I know my knee's fine now, but it's always in the back of my mind, so I get a little bit wary, so it could be that, you know. So your main thing, you've got to get all the way down and stay on that left inside edge. And I would aim just to do one rotation, get back up, two rotations, get back up and build and build and build. And then the next thing you would do, you would be going from sit spin, stepping over into a backspin, okay? And the backspin, I mean, you can practice that, you can push around, and then you can go into a backspin down and up, you know? It's a progression the same way. Okay, guys, next we're going to go over camel spin, which for anyone that's tried doing camel spins on inline skates, unless you're on a really, really good floor with the right, reel, right wheels, you're gonna find it really, really hard, you know, because you are, you're not going to be spinning like you would on the ice. You have to be really on the inside edge and you're almost making back loops. But the speed, it's just really, really hard to maintain. So let's try a couple. Let's see. That is about as good as you can get on a cable spin. 
That's probably about as good as I've done. I very rarely practice cabal swiss to be fair. I'm very rarely doing much single skating lately because I'm always doing pairs, aren't I? But I was a single skater for my whole life, so it's not like I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So that is a cabal spin, and you're just gonna have to bear with it. You're just gonna try it and try it and try it, and you're gonna fail more often than you're going to succeed on a cabal spin. But it is possible, you just have to bear with it, and you have to find out what works for you with the wheels and the stopper and the surface that you have. I wouldn't really advise trying camel spins on asphalt, on really rough surfaces, because you're just going to ruin your wheels and your toe stops. So we just move like this is good. Uh, but even here it's really, really hard. And uh, yeah, I think that's been everything that we, I wanted to cover today. Uh, the sit spin wasn't as good as I was hoping, but I think the, the mechanics and the fundamentals and how to do it are there. If you do have any questions and you want to send me any videos that I can help you with, then find me on my social media. Uh, the Skating Duo is everywhere. Uh, make sure to like the, the video, make sure you're subscribed and leave me any comments. Okay, have a great day everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay guys, so I've come over to a little bit better uh, floor. This is a little bit smoother, but it does feel a bit sticky. So I'm going to try some sit spins, some change foot sits, and some camel spins on this floor and see if you said it better. Okay, let's get let's let's get into this. All right, let's go. The surface can make quite a difference, guys. The surface is a little bit better. We'll try some of the spins here. So it's a bit different, so you have to do very little trouble. It's not a full fit spin, but it's practice. It's practicing the feeling of getting into that sit spin. See, so on this floor, it is a little bit easier to do the spins. Uh, this guy is like cleaning the floor now, so he's going to make it all wet. So then it'll be really slippy, but I won't be here. <laughs> you can't see me, it's just over here. We're going to try a couple more camel spins, and then I'm going to talk about the mechanics and exactly what I'm doing on the spins, okay? See, so as I'm going into it, I'm pushing, I'm just keeping the right side back. And I'm just trying to hold that there just to stay in the spin. What you may find you do sometimes is you bring the right side in and then open and you kind of stop spinning. Yeah, so I think just, I'll try to go in. Do the right side back and then hold it back and then try and hold on to the spin. It's not easy. It's really hard to do a camel spin. Anyway, that has been a few more spins over here on a little bit better floor and uh, hopefully that is helping uh, so yeah have a great day everyone bye for now Woo! <laughs> <laughs> thank you again I'll follow you later